Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from the book of Revelation. Chapter 22 of the book of Revelation. Starting with verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and out of the land, and in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there. They shall need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Out in the side of my Bible, it says, Paradise Restored. If you look at what God had made for man to enjoy in the first place. Some people say, well, why didn't God keep man from sinning? It wasn't God's intention to keep man from sinning. Uh, I don't think it's really that difficult to understand that God didn't want man to serve him and worship him because they had to. He wanted man to do it because they wanted to. Uh, just like your children, you don't want them to love you because you you demanded of them. You want them to love you because they love you. Uh, and you want them to do it of their own free will. And so um, God knew from the very foundation of the world. You say, how can you prove that? Well, the scripture says that in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. It was from the foundation of the world when God said, let us make man in our image. I believe he already knew that man was going to choose wrong. He was going to choose wrong. And then he gives him the ability now to choose right. He sends his son as a sacrifice for us. And then he draws us to him and he still allows us to say, yes, I'll come or no, I won't. And some people look at that and say, that's not the case. The only reason you're saved is God made you saved. No, God, I believe the scripture verifies this and backs it up that God deals and he draws and he says, even to those who he came to in his own, his own received him not. He said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often would I have gathered you? Like a mother hen would gather her chicks, but you would not. He made his choice. Your choice is the one that is of utmost importance now. Um, we all leave this life, but we don't all go to heaven. And if someone has lied to you and told you that, you can't find that in the word of God. Nowhere does it say that everybody that leaves here, it does say it is appointed unto men once to die and after this the judgment. It does say what is your life, it is but a vapor. But it never says that we're all going to heaven. Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. If a man's going to inherit the kingdom of God, he must be born again. <laughs>
that's where I'm going to be living. Me. I'll be waiting just inside the door. Meet me in heaven, and we'll never. Thank you for sending your son to redeem us. Lord, I pray for those today who are still needing salvation, God, that you will help them to see their need of that today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. See you Wednesday.